One of 10 kinda sucks. It has some cool features, but there's one thing that totally kills it for me. First, let's look at the core functionality of the site, which is their outlier tool. This highlights videos that are performing really well on YouTube, specifically a lot better than the channel's usual performance. This is helpful because if you know what videos are outperforming for others, you can try to replicate that success for yourself. By linking to your channel, one of 10 tries to give you outliers that pertain to your niche, but these were actually pretty weak for me. Some of the videos like this artless review were spot on, but my channel has nothing to do with like drawing or jeans. You can also scroll down and check out all outlier videos across the board, but in general, I didn't find these super helpful because most of them were really random and plenty weren't even something I would consider viral. Like this one's only got a thousand views. Now you can search for specific terms as well, which I actually proved to be a lot more helpful. Basically allowed me to see what's trending on particular niches like camera gear, Canon or Sony, but truly there's nothing really groundbreaking here. Certainly nothing that other tools like vidIQ don't already have. We'll touch on that again later. The other core functionality of one of 10 is their competitor tracking and analysis. This allows you to find other channels within your niche and see what videos are performing as outliers for them. The idea is the same, to see what works for somebody else and then inspire you to put your own twist on it. This tool works on both the one of 10 webpage as well as on their YouTube extension. You can go to any channel's uploads page and sort their uploads according to how much of an outlier that video is for the channel. But here's the thing, and this is not sponsored at all, but as I alluded to before, there's nothing here that vidIQ doesn't already do. Their outlier page is pretty much exactly the same as one of 10, and their competitor analysis is way better and has way more analytic stats. There's also one other way that it seriously beats it, but to be fair, we need to look at one of 10's AI tools first. The first AI tool from one of 10 is their idea generator that analyzes your channel and generates video ideas and thumbnails based on your content. This gets like a five out of 10 for me because I do like that the thumbnails are initially added to the ideas. It allows me to like look at them and kind of visualize what it would be like for my channel. That's super neat. And the topics it comes up with aren't bad. I mean, honestly, some of them are even better than what I would get on vidIQ, but it's pretty basic otherwise. You can't even save these ideas to a folder, which is weird because they have an ideas folder, but from the ideas page, you can't save these ideas and thumbnails. It just seems kind of like under construction almost. The thumbnail generator is obviously integrated into this idea generator, and that's another standalone tool from one of ton as well. And again, it's just okay. It actually does a great job of emulating my thumbnail style and it serves as a good inspiration for the thumbnail creation, but that's about it. You certainly wouldn't ever use these thumbnails as a finished product and upload them to YouTube. They're just not at that point. Finally, there's the title generator, which does a good job of coming up with clickable titles, but unlike vidIQ or even TubeBuddy, it doesn't give any sort of score for these titles, and it's not integrated at all to the YouTube extension. And that just brings back the same old thing, which is everything that one of 10 does, vidIQ does better. Like, way better. Their idea generator is just as good, but they also have a keyword research tool, which is priceless. Their thumbnail generator can create much higher quality thumbnails, even using your own likeness. And their title generator is actually built into YouTube with their extension. I know this sounds like an ad for vidIQ, but this is not sponsored, believe me. I'm just trying to save you from wasting your money because the insult to injury is one of 10 costs $70 per month for everything, and vidIQ costs $17 per month. That's more than a $50 difference every month. That's absurd. For me to even consider recommending one of 10, they would have to be like 10% of the price. Like move the decimal point and then we'll talk. It's unfortunate, but it's true. That's my opinion. And if you wanna learn more about vidIQ, maybe that's something that interests you. You should watch my review of it up over here, even though I actually probably need to do an update to it because they've released a lot of improvements since then.